guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is Hannah and I'm the mom with muscle and in today's video guys we're doing coffee table styling you guys absolutely loved my sideboard styling series so I did a poll to see if you guys wanted to see some coffee table styling and you guys gave me a big thumbs up so here it is so if this is something that you are wanting to see just keep watching but if you haven't already be sure to like comment and subscribe Make sure to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you are already following me on Instagram, be sure to do so at Mom with Muscle. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, you guys, for reference, before I start getting into the actual styling portion of this video, this is a 67 inch marble plinth coffee table from RH. I will make sure to link a dupe for you guys down below. So this is a very large coffee table and I definitely have my struggles when it comes to styling this coffee table. Two reasons, one, it is so large. The second challenge that I have with styling this coffee table, which is honestly the hardest challenge, is the fact that it is a marble. This is a Carrera, it's got a lot of veining going through it. It's, it's very busy, so I have a hard time not um, competing with the actual material itself with items that are on top. So those are my two struggles when it comes to styling a coffee table, especially the one that I, I own. But I'm going to be time-lapsing my actual styling for you guys. Again, this is not rehearsed. I'm just doing this as I go. So I'm doing this with you guys. And I will be making sure to kind of go over everything with you guys. If I can link things, as you guys know, it will be down below for you guys for easy purchasing. But let's get into styling this coffee table. <music> So here is the very first look. I went with a very kind of monochromatic look playing off of the white. So I grabbed every single light color coffee table book I owned and did a very neutral look and I'm actually very pleased with how this look came out. So starting with this corner, I did break it up into four sections as you guys will see. I have my Live Beautiful and my Homebody book and then on top of that, I have this really cute jewelry box that I did talk about in one of my previous styling videos. This is from Amazon, and then I just lined the inside with selenite sticks. So I thought bringing in that brass element would be a really great factor to kind of break up all the neutral. Moving on to this side, this is an extra large Gia crystal from RH. I did get it for my work, but I did find a seller on Etsy that sells XL and triple XL quartz like this. So if this is something you have been on the hunt for, be sure to check my description box. So I have that paired. Moving over to the opposite corner, I have my Ann Leberwitz book, my still, and another home body book I just took off the cover. And then I paired it with these marble links that you guys will recognize. And then I also paired it with this really cute little low profile marble vessel. And I just sticked three little selenite sticks in the top of it to kind of add some height and some kind of contrast. And then the very last element of this style is this brass vase that I got from Target. I did steal this from my bedroom. And then I paired it with two olive branches. These are from Hobby Lobby. So yeah, I just love how neutral this is. Honestly, I've never really done just a really neutral style for my coffee table. I always incorporate wood or black elements. So I'm actually very pleased with how this first look turned out. So this is the very first look for you guys. All right, you guys, and here is look in style two for you guys. I incorporated a little bit more black elements to break up all of the neutral. So starting on this corner, I have three coffee table books, starting with Still, Homebody, and Live Beautiful. And on top of that, I have those salt bowls that I had talked about in my best of for 2020. They are meant for salt, but I honestly just use them for decor. I have two of them and I just love how they looked stacked. So I have that on top of there. And then I also have my candle instruments i have my snuffer and my candle wick cutter over here i have an open coffee table book i think this is a very simple thing to do when styling a coffee table it not only takes up space but it's a very very elevated look so i have open coffee table book and then i just draped some of my black beads right on top of that to kind of pull in that black aspect within each section and then moving over to the other corner, I have that black fire tray that I talked about in my best of for 2020 that is from a really cute little boutique called Modern Wear Market. All of her information will be linked down below. 
I have a blue spa candle burning on top of that with my remote controls. Moving into this corner, I think one thing to take away from the styling is I always like to incorporate some sort of green. I also did it with my sideboard styling. I think bringing in some sort of green aspect, live aspect, breaks up all of the harder tones. And so over here, these are live. I did get these from Trader Joe's. They are a mixture of Italian Ruscus and a different breed of Eucalyptus. So I love picking up greens when I haven't stopped on the side of the street to pick up any. I love just grabbing some greens from Trader Joe's while I'm there. And that is what completes this style. Style number two for you guys. for you guys I did honestly a little bit more of a realistic approach for most people on this style so instead of doing a set of four in the center I actually off-centered this and used a tray which a lot of people like to use when styling coffee tables so I brought in this tray this is from home goods this is the Tommy Bahama line in their extra large wicker tray it adds some dimension between the wicker and the marble. I don't know if I would keep this here, but just showing you guys an example of how you can incorporate a tray when styling a coffee table. I definitely think if you're going to do a tray to maybe off-center it instead of having it right in the middle. So that's the tray. The coffee table books are This Is Home and Down to Earth. And then I paired it with a fresh floral arrangement. These are from Trader Joe's. And then I realistically put our remote controls right there on top of it. A set of coasters. These are a marble and wood coaster. I did get those on Amazon, so those will be down below. And then I have a burning Voluspa candle. So I definitely took a less is more and a simpler approach to this style. And just showing you guys just how simple you guys can style a coffee table with very minimal decor. So that is style number three for you guys. <laughs> Here is style number four for you guys. I definitely did a less is more approach on this. This is very much RH inspired. RH doesn't do a lot of home decor on their coffee tables. So like when you go into an RH, they usually will have like one really oversized vessel with moss in it or one really large geode crystal or really big coffee table books. They really don't do a lot when it comes to styling their coffee tables. So that is kind of the approach I took with this. This is obviously the main statement of the style. So I have the gold brass tray underneath it. This is from Target. And then on top is that geode crystal that I did find at Home Goods. It is probably an extra, extra large. It's roughly around 45 pounds. It's a massive crystal. And then to the right of it, I just did all of my designer books, my Tom Ford, my Louis Vuitton, and my Chanel book. And then again, I styled that jewelry box with selenite sticks right on top of it to kind of pull in that brass element as well. So again, I did a very, very less is more approach with this, a very much RH inspired look. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. And that is style number four for you guys. <laughs> struggle for me. I tinkered with this style for probably 30 minutes, but honestly, I really love how it turned out that I'm actually going to keep this as my new coffee table decor. But starting in this corner, so this is a vessel that I purchased from Home Depot, and then I just paired it with some wild eucalyptus stems. You guys will notice when I do the time lapse, I ended up stuffing this vessel with towels. That way the vase that these actual live stems are in could come up higher. Uh, to match with the opening of this vessel. So that is this. And then moving over here, I have my home body and my Live Beautiful. And then I paired it with this really cute little wooden basket, I guess. I did get this at Home Goods. 
and then I paired it with those black element beads. So this style definitely has a lot more wooden elements in it, which I think is really nice to kind of break up all of the different textures and color. And then moving over to this corner, I have talked about this tray before. This is the tray that I did get off of Etsy. It is an antique, and I just have my remote controls, my candle wick cutter and snuffer in there, as well as my coasters. And then the last and final element of this style, I have my still and my homebody book. And then on top of it, I have paired a Voluspa candle and the brass knot that is new to the Studio McGee collection from Target. So that is the last and final style for you guys. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed some different styles for coffee table styling. This was, again, a very fun video to make because it is pushing me outside of my comfort zone. I definitely can get in the rut of just styling a coffee table or styling a sideboard and then leaving that style for months on end. So doing these videos for you guys has actually been a lot of fun for me getting me outside of my comfort zone and pushing me to do different styles and mixing it up here in my home. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys got some inspiration. If you guys do recreate some of my looks, tag me on Instagram. I want to see what you guys do. So I love you guys and we will see you guys in my next video. Peace.